If you're in the market for a lightweight yet hard-working tender, you may want to consider one with a rigid aluminum hull. Welded aluminum ribs tend to be light, strong, and quite durable, as long as they're well-built. Highfield has a reputation for using quality marine-grade materials in an exacting process that results in a superb product. What we have here is a classic 290, a very lightweight tender from Highfield. Still has the dual level floor, so your feet and your gear remain dry. But if you need something really light, no need for console, something you're gonna have on a davit system, this little guy is something you should look at. All of Highfield's hulls are made from high tensile marine grade aluminum for strength. This means you don't have to baby your Highfield like you might a fiberglass tender. Plus, they are chromated and then powder coated for additional corrosion resistance. In an environmentally conscious time, it's also interesting to note that aluminum, as opposed to its GRP counterpart, is easily recyclable. As an added bonus, the powder coating method has the benefit of releasing fewer toxins to the environment than traditional painting. Even the little 290 still has 17 inch tubes, which means lots of freeboard, lots of protection from wind and spray, and a fairly deep floor. And that means you can put a lot of gear in this little baby tender. Optional available still in Hypalon or PVC. So if you're looking for something that can maintain its level of durability in the sunlight and the rain, Hypalon's definitely the way to go. Upgrading to the more premium synthetic rubber Hypalon means the straps, oars, and handles are all mounted with Hypalon as well. Matching component and tube material might seem like a minor detail, but can have a lasting effect. Now the dual level floor is great for keeping your feet and your gear dry, but there's a second benefit that not a lot of people think about. There's enough space in the front hatch for the fuel tank on this boat. And since it has the double floor, you can run the fuel line underneath, so you're not tripping over the fuel line. Pretty handy feature if you want to store the tank up front. Now you might wonder why the seat's sitting so far forward. It's a little bit too far for using the motor, but it is in the perfect spot for rowing. Now one thing I really like are these oar mounts. Not only are they really solid, which applies most of your power to the water, but they're quiet. They're not squeaking or rattling. That's definitely a high quality piece. It just rows so smoothly. An accessory padded seat cushion is a must have if you're gonna travel any distance. From Highfield, it comes also as a storage bag. So not only have you got a seat cushion for some ride comfort, but you have a place to stash all your gear, lines, wallet, camera, phone. What a great little accessory. Our test boat was equipped with a quiet Honda 9.9 .9 horsepower four-stroke outboard. Since most tenders are used to carry a few people, we were pleasantly surprised the CL290 had no issues getting on plane, even with three aboard. If you need a little extra grunt, you can mount the bigger 15, but they often come with more registration and driving restrictions than a 9.9. We found the 15 degree dead rise to be an excellent compromise between stability and ride comfort. And the big tubes do a great job of keeping everyone dry. Add to that a five year structural warranty and it's easy to understand why Highfields are becoming so popular.